Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how to take advantage of Excel's uh, circular reference feature. So just to take a small example, here we have a firm that has a profit of $100,000 before tax. Uh, it would like to pay an employee bonus of 5% of after tax profits, which we don't know yet. So that's going to come here. And it wants to also figure out how much to pay as uh, state tax and federal tax. These are the amounts of before tax profits. And then finally, um, we have to compute the after-tax profits and based on that, we have to calculate the employee bonus. So the first thing I'm going to do, just to make things easier, I'm going to name these cells. So I'm just going to call this as profit, profit before bonus and tax. And then we have uh, just bonus or employee bonus. Let's just call it bonus and then state tax, federal tax, and then after-tax or profit after-tax. So having named these cells in this manner, it just makes it easier for us to uh, construct our formulas. So employee bonus, I'm going to write this as 5% of, or actually I can just write this as this times um, profit after tax. I'm just going to give it, give it that name. And then state federal tax is 10% uh, of the profit before tax, which is this. Um, and uh, federal tax is 30% of the profit before tax. And then the after tax profit is, of course, the profit before bonus and tax minus the employee bonus minus the state tax minus the federal tax. So there's a circularity here. Basically, the after tax profit has to be calculated after subtracting the employee bonus from everything else, from the before tax profit. Um, but then the employee bonus itself will affect the after-tax profit. So there's a circularity here. So typically you'll see this as an error. Now, how do you ensure that Excel actually calculates this in the way that you want? So here's a little uh, uh, option that you can choose. You can go to File, Options, and go to Formulas under Excel Options, go to Formulas. And within that, under Calculation Options, click on enable iterative calculation. Just click on that. And you can also specify, you can just leave this as a default, but you can specify how many iterations you want and how many, what's the minimum, maximum change you want per iteration and so on. And then you can click okay. And once you do that, then Excel is going to perform a nice uh, calculation for you. And let me just format it nicely. And so it's as if you solve this equation here where you want the employee bonus to be 5% of your after-tax profit. And so what employee bonus should you pay so that on a pre-tax profit of 100,000, you get an employee bonus that's 5% of the after-tax profit. So that's, that's the answer right there. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks for, thanks for watching.